Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing five more dinner recipes. These are all super quick and easy. They're budget friendly. They are things that your family and your kids will eat. I hope you'll enjoy all of these recipes and let's go ahead and get into today's video. All right, so for this first dinner, I'm making a chicken stir fry, and this is definitely a family favorite for us. I make this one all the time. I'm just starting off with a drizzle of olive oil in my large skillet, and then I'm adding in two chicken breasts that I cut up into bite-sized pieces. You, of course, can add more chicken if you want to, but I just used two on this night. I just added a little bit of salt and pepper to the chicken, and I'm also adding in a splash of soy sauce. I would say I added in probably about a tablespoon. I love the flavor that it gives the chicken. And then I'm just cooking those up. Once they are done cooking I'm just removing those over to a plate so I can use that same skillet for the vegetables so into that same skillet I'm just adding in another drizzle of olive oil and then you're gonna start with adding whatever veggies you want so I love to do an onion in mine and some bell pepper I get that cooking up I do like to add just a little bit of salt and pepper and then I cook that for probably like three minutes I always like to start with adding in my fresh vegetables like the onions and the peppers and then I will add in whatever frozen vegetables that I have on hand and I usually will add in a little bit of chicken broth so I added in like a quarter cup with these frozen vegetables here and I just kind of let that steam. While those are steaming I am getting my sauce ready. So I've got a quarter cup of broth, a quarter cup of soy sauce and I'm also adding in about a quarter cup of honey. You can do a little bit less if you want to. Drizzle of sesame oil and a big scoop of minced garlic in here. This is just a little bit of ginger. You're gonna want about an eighth a teaspoon of that. And then two teaspoons of cornstarch. And then you're just gonna whisk all of this together. I will have the full recipes listed out in my description box. And then you're just gonna set that sauce aside while you are cooking up your pasta. I am using like a veggie spaghetti here. It's a little bit smaller box of pasta than you typically get. But I just added that in with some salted water. And then I'm gonna head back over to my skillet. At this point, almost all of my vegetables are fully cooked through, but I do like to add in some shredded carrots, and I also had some leftover green beans that I just needed to warm up. Obviously, carrots don't take very long since they are shredded pretty finely, so I just let these cook for a couple minutes. I'm adding in the green beans and the chicken, and then I'm also going to add in my sauce once everything is completely cooked through, and you're just going to let this sauce simmer for just a couple of minutes. The cornstarch in there will help thicken everything up, and this makes a really, really yummy sauce. I usually just add my pasta right in here but this is also really delicious served over cauliflower rice you can eat it plain you can eat it with rice it's just absolutely delicious our family loves this one this is a dinner that my kids will eat every single time and I love it because it has so many veggies too for this next dinner, I am making some chicken parmesan, and this is always a family favorite for us as well. I'm just starting off with getting the breading mixed up. So I have about a cup and a half of Italian panko breadcrumbs here, and I'm just getting those dumped into a casserole dish. You're gonna want kind of a large dish for this, and then I've also got a cup of um, parmesan. You're gonna want a couple tablespoons of parsley in there, just the dried stuff is fine. Two teaspoons of salt, and then about a teaspoon of pepper, and you can get all of that mixed together. If you are doing a smaller batch of chicken parmesan go ahead and just do like half of this recipe I will have everything written out in my description box you're also going to want a little dish of flour you really don't have to measure that and then I whisk up a couple of eggs with just a little splash of milk in there you don't want too much milk you want it to be mostly egg but then I just whisk all of that together And now for the fun part of coating the chicken. If you have never done this before, I promise it is not hard at all. You're just going to take chicken breasts that are cut in half so they're nice and thin. You're gonna put it into the flour mixture, then into the egg wash, get a nice coating of that, and then you're gonna to wanna to get a really thick coating of the panko, and then you're gonna throw it onto your baking sheet. You can also fry these in a skillet if you want to, but I honestly prefer to bake them just because it's a lot healthier that way. And you can also pop them in the air fryer if you wanna go that route and they get nice and crispy. So it's just total preference, but just go ahead and get all of your chicken coated. And then I like to spray mine with a little bit of oil before putting them in the oven. I cook mine at 400 degrees for probably about 20 to 25 minutes, just depending on your chicken. At that point, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that they are at 165 degrees. Once they are done, you're going to top them with some marinara and some mozzarella, put them back in, and you can pop them under the broiler to help crisp them up. But this one is so good, served over pasta or even plain. Such a delicious dinner. 
For this next dinner, I am making a stuffed bell pepper casserole. Again, this is a family favorite that we really, really love. We always have peppers on hand, so it's a great option. I like that you can sneak some veggies in there. I love to make stuffed bell peppers, but honestly, I think I like this even more. It's so quick and easy. I just chop up all of these peppers. You can do like two or three. I do prefer the sweet bell peppers if you have them. And then I'm also gonna chop up an onion here because I like to add that in as well. So we are basically going to be making like the stuffing of what you would put inside of a stuffed bell pepper but we're just going to do that in a skillet instead so I'm starting off with a drizzle of oil and then I've got some ground beef going. Of course I'm going to want to add in my onions and my peppers and get those cooking as well. I like to add those in once the ground beef is probably like halfway cooked and then I'm just going to start browning everything together. After my ground beef had cooked and my peppers are nice and soft, I'm just adding in a little bit of minced garlic, letting that cook for a minute or two before adding in the rest of my sauces and seasonings. So I'm starting off with a drizzle of balsamic vinegar, one can of petite diced tomatoes. You're also going to want a small can of tomato sauce, just dump it right in there. And then for seasoning, all of this is just to taste, I don't have exact measurements for you, but you're going to want Italian seasoning, garlic powder, basil, oregano, salt and pepper, and then I do like to add in a little bit of sugar just to kind of cut the acidity from the tomatoes of course that is optional if you don't want to add in the sugar I would recommend adding in a little bit of shredded carrot because that can kind of do the same thing while also sneaking in a, veg a veggie and then I'm also adding in a cup of some marinara sauce here and I'm just gonna let all of this simmer together for a couple of minutes to let the flavors kind of cook out before adding in some broth so for the broth, I'm just adding in one cup of beef broth. Once everything is simmering, I'm just adding in my rice. This is two cups of jasmine rice. I just cooked it up in my Instant Pot. That's my favorite way to do rice. Of course, you can do it on the stovetop or a rice cooker. Whatever you have on hand is perfect. I'm just mixing that in there, getting it all combined. And then you can mix in a little bit of cheese if you want to, or you can just melt some on top. It really is just personal preference. I decided to mix a little bit in and then sprinkle some more on top let that melt and this one is so delicious it's also great warmed up for lunches the next day it just heats up really well For this next dinner, we are gonna be making some buffalo chicken bowls, which is kind of like a spin-off of like a burrito bowl, but it's buffalo chicken instead. So these are really yummy, super quick and easy to make for a busy weeknight. And I also feel like you could definitely prep these for lunches throughout the week to put into wraps or salads, whatever you want. But I'm just starting off with cutting up two large chicken breasts, chopping those up into some small bite-sized pieces, and then we're gonna actually marinate those for just a few minutes. So I've got like two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm sure you could use avocado oil as well. And then I'm using this Primal Kitchen Buffalo Sauce. I did about a quarter cup of that. You can do a little bit more if you want it spicier. And then a quarter teaspoon of paprika, garlic powder, and then I just did salt and pepper to taste. And then I just let this sit on my counter for like 10 minutes while I was getting my rice ready. But after those 10 minutes, we're up I am just throwing this into my large skillet here and then I'm just gonna cook this until the chicken is all the way cooked through and it was super super quick and easy it probably only took like six minutes or so while that was cooking I am getting my jasmine rice ready I always throw mine in the instant pot with a drizzle of olive oil some sea salt two cups of water I will have this recipe linked down below it's so quick and easy and it makes the best rice my husband absolutely loves this rice recipe and then you just set it to four minutes let it pressure cook and then it does a 10 minute natural release so the thing with these buffalo chicken bowls is that you can really use up whatever you have on hand for them. I am chopping up some peppers. You guys know we are huge pepper lovers in this house. We always have sweet bell peppers on hand. So I chopped up some of those. I had some cucumbers, got those all chopped up. You can do tomatoes, avocado, really just whatever you have in your house to use up is perfect for this recipe. Of course, you're gonna wanna chop it with some cheese, but just chop up whatever you have and it will be perfect for this one. I'm just starting off with some lettuce in my bowl and then I'm adding on a big scoop of that jasmine rice, topping it with a buffalo chicken and some cheese, and then just throwing on all of those veggies. I did use a homemade ranch dressing. I just take homemade ranch seasoning, mix it with some yogurt, a little bit of milk, stir it all together, add a little bit of salt if I want to, but it makes a really yummy ranch dressing and it's much healthier that way. But this one was so good. I'm definitely gonna be making these to have in the fridge for lunches soon. 
On this next night, I just made a homemade pizza. You guys have seen me make so many pizzas on this channel, but it's something that we make honestly pretty frequently because this pizza crust recipe is just so easy. It's one I do in the KitchenAid. It takes like probably 10 minutes, let it rise for an hour, and it's so quick and easy to make a yummy dinner. We have done so many different varieties of pizza, but this one is just a very, very basic one. I'm just throwing this in my oven at 410 degrees, pre-bake it for like six minutes, and then once it's done pre-baking, I'm just adding on a all of the ingredients. This is homemade pizza sauce, which it's not super salty. So you're actually gonna see me add some garlic salt here in a minute, just because it's not super salty sauce, it's homemade. But adding some garlic salt on there, and of course a little bit of Italian seasoning. And this is just gonna be a really basic pizza. I've got some cheddar on here, some mozzarella, pepperoni, and mushrooms. My kids absolutely adore mushrooms, so they always love when I add them onto their pizza. But of course you can make this pizza whatever you want. I've actually found that pizza is a really great budget friendly option. It really does not cost very much. So quick and easy to make. I would say we eat pizza probably like once every other week do a homemade pizza because it's just so quick and easy and we all really enjoy it. So if you have not tried making homemade pizza crust, I highly recommend it. I just bake this at 410 degrees for probably another like 10 minutes. Once it comes out, I do a little bit of butter around the edge of the crust to make it super flavorful and soft. But this one's super, super yummy. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. I share a lot of recipes on my channel, lots of easy dinners, crock pot recipes, things that are perfect for busy mamas. So definitely make sure you're subscribed and I will catch you all in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.